Hello, I'm Richard. This is David and Tunde, and we're here to discuss this week's boxing on the TBK podcast. So we just watched the Aussies hooker fight. What did you think of it, David? We'll start with yourself. Well, hey, to be honest with you, um, it was a good fight. I think. Yeah. I, I wondered whilst I was watching it if if Hawker moving up to one four seven was necessarily necessarily the best idea. Yeah. Because um, it was quite clear that he he couldn't affect what is um like he wanted to, and I think purely because he just didn't have the physicality for it. I think um it was I think it was a really good fight. I think Ortiz Ortiz started to kind of rough at him a little bit. Um yeah, he, yeah I think Ortiz generally just he, he beat him up. He, he beat him yeah. up in the end, really truthfully. And I think I think he broke his will. Yeah, we did. I agree. Yeah. Uh 16 fights, 16 knockouts Tunday, and he's uh he's speaking about fighting Crawford. Do you think he's ready? Not yet. Um I think he's made a statement. Definitely, um, in the way that he just broke down Hooker, but um, I think another couple of fights at that level, yeah. um, they'll be ready. I think Spence and Crawford are just a couple levels above him at the moment. Um, I think he'll just get caught out if he fights them immediately. Yeah, honest. I have to um, agree. Yeah, yeah he just, I mean, he, he, he did really well. I mean, he... he literally like from the from the opening bell i mean hook already knew from the first punch that like this is going to be a long night um the body punching was like was just a madness um i think sort of like from the fourth round he got i think hooker came back into it a little bit yeah. um but um I, I think mainly because um garcia was like head hunting a little bit, but then he just went back to the body again. It's done. It's finished. Yeah. So, yeah, he's he's on point. He is on point. He's a, he's a brilliant fighter. David, do you think that hooker quit? He um he was a hand injury apparently, wasn't it? Yeah, he said it was a he, he said it was a hand injury, but I mean I watched the replay a fair few times and it just yeah. I think I, I mean from when he got knocked down for the first time. Um, <laughs> I just think his will was broken. So yeah, I do think he quit. To be honest with you, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't doubt that his hand might have been hurting him. Yeah. I noticed these days because uh, what fight was it? Was it last week? I can't remember exactly who it was that was fighting. But I noticed now that if um, fighters go down with any sort of hand injury, especially if, if they go down with it, refs seem to wave it off straight away. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. New, I don't know if it's the new protocol in that regard because we know before fighters used to fight on with broken hands all day. Yeah, yeah. Or hand injuries all day, but now that's two fights I've seen them be stopped. But I do genuinely believe that um, more than hand injury, I just think his will got broken. Yeah, it did. It did. He was ready to fight the audience after. Did you? Uh, did you know? Oh, I saw him? that too. <laughs> I, saw that, I saw that too. He jumped I mean, out the ring, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> like, like he was going to go for it, you know. But yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. We, we, I, my advice to Maurice Hook would be leave Adrian Broner to Adrian Broner. Yeah, you know I mean, true. Yeah, uh, it's true. yeah, you know, don't don't entertain that. And at the end of the day, if he's just lost a fight, and again, sorry, I think that further let me know that he he quit. Because yeah. You're ready to fight, and you're ready to you're ready to jump out of the ring and get into it with, with fans or people in the in in the audience. Yeah. Why didn't you carry on? Why didn't you carry on fighting then? I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I think that um. He, he put a, you know, a brave fight. He's the smaller man. He moved up in weight, and uh, he didn't, he didn't box how I thought he would. Um, he's very difficult with Ortiz. I think that he's a really good fighter. He's attack, attack, attack. He's on the front foot, and I felt uh, Hooker, even though he was moving up in weight, he was the taller man, more rangier fighter. I thought he'd try to keep Hooker at. I mean, he tried to keep Ortiz at distance and uh, beat him behind the jab. But he didn't, he went to war with him. He was, you know, nah, in the trenches, he was banging with him. It was a poor yeah. idea. And I think that it was a fight of the year candidate. Again, uh, we've had quite a few. It wasn't as good as um, the Estrada fight. But it's, it's up there. But I just think it flattered Ortiz greatly. Even though I think he's a very good fighter, I think that um, he fought his fight. And I think that Ortiz will struggle against some of the bigger men when they really box him if they've got power. Yeah. 
uh, if they've got that power to keep him honest, someone who's just lost like Danny Garcia might be a good fight for Ortiz now because he has his own power, he's taller and I think he can't just try and uh, run over Danny Garcia because he'll bang with you and he'll hurt you. I think that if he fights Spence or Crawford at this stage, I think it's a mistake. I think it's a horrible mistake and I think uh, that he'll get stopped as well. Um, I think that, to be honest with you, I think that goes for most fighters at 147 though. Yeah. Um, you know, so I think really with the rest, I, I, I do think with Danny Garcia, um, after watching that Spence fight as well, he's starting to become a bit more of a plodder. Yeah. Danny Garcia, you know, um, he has. he's got a good, he's got a good IQ, but yeah. he's just, he, he's, his output isn't enough at the moment. So I think that would, it, I think stylistically it would be, it would be an interesting matchup. It might, not, it might not necessarily make for the best spectacle. Yeah. But I think it would be an interesting matchup because with Ortiz's style. Yeah. Um, and, um, Garcia's IQ, I think it will make it will, it will, it will make for something to, to look forward to. Yeah. But um, in terms of Spence and Crawford, whether we get to see the fight or not, I, I doubt we will. But um, we know that really technically, and Pacquiao, yeah. technically at one four seven, them three guys are kind of set apart. Yeah. Sunday, what did you think about uh, Crawford's response that oh we don't want it yet? And uh, I'm a Crawford fan. Well, I felt a bit annoyed that he was talking about how Spence don't want it, that fight is dead. And this fight he's talking about Ortiz, oh, we don't want it. He seems to dismiss, you know, the, the top fights. He's not fighting Porter. Um, how do you feel about that? I think we, we need to understand his um, frustrations. He's tried to he's tried to make the fights, um, you know, with Spence, you know, with, with um, a couple of the others. So... You know, and I think he he feels that he's at a point now where he he's all about legacy now. He yeah. needs to have three or four really good names um, in order to cement his 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 legacy as as a as a you know um, future Hall of Famer. Um, yeah, it is a bit disappointing. Um, you know, I think we've spent talking his madness about seventy thirty. You know. Yeah. Um, you have to sort. You have to kind of question whether he really wants that fight. Mm -hmm. um, Terence has tried to fight. He's tried to make the fights. You know what else can he do? Um, with uh, sort of like Garcia, I just. What about the Ortiz fight for him? Um, will there be enough interest? I think, in terms of what um, Ortiz has done to to um, Hooker, there'll yeah. be that interest, but. I think, like you said, I think it will be a horrible fight for 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 all teams. Yeah, yeah. Ford will finish him. Yeah, finish him. And the, the Garcia's got really good. He's got really good engine. He's got you know he's got power to burn. Um, very heavy-handed. But yeah, did you mean Ortiz between... then? Huh? Did you mean Ortiz? So yeah, yeah, Ortiz. Yeah. So but. All of that will be negated by 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 Crawford. Um, you know what happened in the fight with Hooker is that although Hooker was he's got um, range and he's got he's he's got his height, he wasn't able to utilize that properly because he doesn't have the speed. Yeah. Um, you know, like there's a couple of times when he whipped in like really good hooks and stuff, but that was, you know, probably maybe three or four times within the fight. Like he yeah he just didn't have. The, the the speed or the nows to keep um, Garcia from, um, off him. Yeah, Crawford can do that in his sleep. Mm -hmm. Crawford can do that in his sleep. He will just read him and he will just deal with him. Like I, it's it's if if all Ortiz has is is you know his power and um, his engine, then you know when he comes up against somebody like Crawford who has power but he's got the nows, he's got the he's got the engine, he's got he's got the skill. Yeah, it, it's no. He's not ready for that yet. He needs a good two or three fights. Um, I don't know who um, Crawford is going to fight next. Um, it is disappointing because you want to see the the the, the you know the big fights, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, you know what his next move will be. I would love to see the Spence fight, but I just don't see that happening. Yeah, some really really good points there, Tom. Uh, so David, where next for Ortiz? Um, 
I would like to see him, if I'm honest, go up against the likes of Porter. Porter. Um, yeah, I I don't I don't I don't necessarily blame Terence Crawford for not wanting to fight him. Yeah. Um, you know, because he's coming to the division, he's he's served up everyone he's fought. Um, he's won a belt. You know, he's 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 chasing an, another title holder. Yeah. And I I. I, I get that. I think with Porter, I mean, because Porter's just willing to fight anyone. Yeah. Um, I think him fighting all two, I think that'll make for a good fight. You know, as we kind of establishing now, he's not necessarily a gatekeeper, but he's almost being treated as a gatekeeper in the sense of if you beat Porter, the next fight really is a title fight or one of the yeah. um, more recognised fighters in the division, which there are only a couple of yeah. other than Porter. So, um, I would I would want to see him fight, you know, that next level in terms of Porter, maybe Garcia, as I said already. But um, I, I, I think trying to chase Terence Crawford, Errol Spence, or again Pacquiao, I don't. I, I do think he might have to have a couple more, a couple of fights before he he, he can get one of those fights. Yeah, brilliant. Tunde, the same question. Uh, unless you agree with David, where next for Ortiz? Um. No, I, I agree 100% with David. I think he needs um, two or three fights. He's at a level now where he's he's world-class. Um, so he needs... Porter will be a really good fight for him. Garcia will be a really good fight for him. I yeah. think Porter more so than Garcia. Um, Porter is like, as David said, sort of like the gatekeeper to a world title fight. Yeah. If, he, if he beats Porter... Um, you know, that's a massive step for him. Um, but if he beats Porter in style, as in like, if he if he stops him, then, you know, the clamour for uh, a fight with the, you know, Spences or the, the, you know, the Crawfords will be overwhelming because he's, he's basically yeah. shown that he is a problem. He is a definite problem. Because um, I don't think, Porter hasn't been stopped. Um, no, he hasn't. So for him to do something like that, yeah, then you know that this is somebody who is a proper killer. So, um, yeah, um, Paul would be a really good fight for me, for, 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 for Garcia. So I'd like to see that. Brilliant. I think it's been really informative, uh, guys. So I'm Richard, alongside David and Tunde, and this has been the TBK Podcast. And this is the TBK Podcast.